Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another very important topic on digital signal processing and that is moving average filter, okay. So I am going to discuss this simulation in MATLAB. So see, one of the very simple difference equation here you can see y of n is equal to 1 by 3 into x of n minus 1 plus x of n plus x of n plus 1. Clearly, you can understand that uh, we are taking average and as the time will go, each coefficient will be shifted so that basically we can say this is kind of moving average, right? So that the filter name came as moving average. So this is simple expression. What is the application of this filter, this kind of filter? Let me show you. So if you want to implement this particular filter in MATLAB, how you can do? First, simply you can take a uh, Z transform uh, domain in Z, Z domain. You can convert this equation that is 1 by 3 into let me take X of Z common. I hope uh, up to this you know that how to take Z transform of a difference equation X of n minus 1. So Z to the power minus 1 plus X of n will be 1 due to I have taken common here X of Z plus X of Z n plus 1 will be Z to the power 1. So that means Z, right? So basically this is our expression. So we can further simplify it. So we can get 1 by 3 into x of z into 1 by z if it goes if we can write write like this. So 1 by z plus 1 plus z right. So basically now what we can do we can simply write 1 by 3 into x of z um, whole by let me take LCM so Z either in this side 1 plus Z plus Z square right so this is what our expression and from this we can clearly write numerator coefficient that is N U M numerator coefficients will be what already I told you how to write so basically these are consecutive coefficients so no need to uh, do something zero uh, in between somewhere zero no need to add so one j to the power one coefficient is also one j to the power two coefficient is also one one one, one. denominator coefficient is simply one right so den d e n will be also uh, only j term so one right but see here here 1 by 3 this particular term is multiplied so what we can do we can simply multiply with the numerator part okay so basically this is our uh, filter okay now we will use this particular um, uh, transfer function to uh, filter out uh, the input signal x of n okay so let me directly go to MATLAB and show you what is the application of this this particular one can be used to uh, remove noise okay so see how it can remove noise simple code so clc clear all close all obviously you have to write if you want you can write warning of two okay then t equal to 0 colon 0 0.0 0 0.11 colon 20 okay so i want to plot one continuous signal that is of sine wave form x equal to sine t so that i have taken this time interval as continuous okay so that i have taken very small increment so if you want to plot you can simply write this command and let me execute that so here you can see here one clear sign of we are getting all right now what i am doing i am taking uh, random noise which has gaussian distribution so n equal to random one comma length of t already i told you about random command in my previous videos if you want to know detail explanation of random operator then please check the link given in the description okay so n equal to random one comma length of t i am taking uh, random noise of same length as my this sign signal then i am adding that x equal to x plus n so now let me show you the um, noisy waveform so if i execute so now you can see the sign signal is become noisy signal all right i hope up to this you can clearly understand now the numerator coefficient already i have told you 1 by 3 into 1 into 1 uh, 1 1 1 that means this is 1 z z square that means basically nothing but the numerator part of the transfer function which we derived that is z to the power minus 1 plus 1 plus z to the power 1 okay denominator is 1 only then we are using filter command to filter out our this 
noise corrupted signal x so y equal to filter num comma den comma x plot x comma b so noisy signal i am plotting uh, with the blue color hold on plot y comma r that is i want to uh, draw the filtered waveform in red color okay if you want you can give legend to identify separately also so noisy signal and filtered signal all right now let me show you the code let me execute that yeah see here you can clearly see the blue color waveform is my noisy signal which has very high noise but the filtered one is my red color waveform here you can see clearly due to this particular uh, legend command it is showing that this one this uh, blue color is noisy signal and the red color is filtered signal so you can see the filtered signal has lesser amount of noise present okay but still it is not an sign signal like we can understand uh, intuitively that it is uh, forming one sign signal pattern but we want more uh, noise removal property so what we can do instead of this particular that is x of n minus 1 plus x of n plus x of n plus 1 we can extend it further like if we take uh, here we are taking basically one uh, window of size 3 uh, average of one window of size 3 if the, uh, along with that you can take uh, uh, the window size you can make the window size 11 12 13 like that and if you take average in that case you the signal will be much smoother right so suppose 11 window you want to make then y of n equal to 1 by 11 then x of n minus 10 x of n minus 9 x of n minus 8 x of n minus 7 like that it goes and you can make that right so basically the same code you can extend it so what you can do here one coefficients will only be present like this and how many numbers of ones are there that will that will put here like one two three four five six seven ones are there so one by seven now if i execute the code you can see that the signal uh, the uh, filter signal is much much smoother compared to previous one okay so what we can do instead of writing like this we can make one gen generalized code and the code is here very simple just previous code only we have implemented clc clear all close all t equal to 0 colon 0 point uh, 1 1 uh, colon 20 uh, so this is my time sample range x equal to sine t okay i am taking sine signal and then i am adding noise in this and then here input a equal to input enter the number uh, that is size of the window also you can say then t2 equal to once 1 comma a so like what the once command will do let me show you once 1 comma 5 if i write it will make one array of uh, five ones okay so basically our numerator is coefficient means only once right like here you have seen only ones of seven ones previously three ones like that here uh, the array should have uh, a ones okay because a is our window size in this particular case so once one comma a and then we have to take average so previously when we have used window size three then we have taken one by three when we have used window size seven we have taken one by seven similarly here we are using window size a so one by a that's all so numerator equal to one by a uh, star t2 denominator is one denominator no need to change and y equal to filter num comma den comma x and then plot the original signal and then plot the filter signal that's all so let me show you the code uh, so enter the number suppose let me take to size uh, window of size 20 and see the signal see this is our noise corrupted signal and you can clearly understand it is almost filtered out okay the noise is almost filtered out from the uh, uh, noise corrupted signal and we are getting uh, uh, back our original pure sign signal you can further increase uh, the uh, size suppose let me take if i take uh, 40 then see what kind of filter we are getting uh, see uh, it is much uh, lesser uh, if there is a noise is removed much compared to previous also right so like this you can implement the moving average filter in matlab idea is very simple okay just you have to take average nothing else just you need to know basic jet transformation properties and how to filter a signal uh, through a um, jet transformation uh, system 
uh, in MATLAB that you need to know these two if you know these two you can simply implement this all right so I am going to post the same code in the description box if you want you can check there and this is very important um, um, idea to remove noise widely it is used in internet you will get lots of resources uh, regarding the insights about this particular filter okay its advantages disadvantages and some uh, modern filter uh, which uh, can be used to overcome the advantages of this type of moving average filter you can search and uh, study those uh, and using this you can make one project in dsp for your dsp project component all right so Thank you for watching and for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you